We the people will no longer allow the political prisoners of January 6 to be deprived of their life, liberty, and due process. Arizona Constitution Article 2, Section 4, Due Process of Law. And I quote, No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Close quote. Maxim 86a. It would be idle and trite to say that no right is absolute. Louisiana Constitution, Article 1, Section 3, Right to Individual Dignity. And I quote, No person shall be denied the equal protection of the laws. No law shall discriminate against a person because of race or religious ideas, beliefs, or affiliations. No law shall arbitrarily, capriciously, or unreasonably discriminate against a person because of birth, age, sex, culture, physical condition, or political ideas or affiliations. Slavery and involuntary servitude are prohibited, except in the later case as punishment for crime. Close quote. Maxim 86K. No one is considered to act with guile or to be a wrongdoer who uses his own right. Notice of deprivation of rights of the January 6th political prisoners. Notice to principal is notice to agent and notice to agent is notice to principal. I one of the people of the 50 American states, as seen in the bills and declarations of rights in the 50 state constitutions, sui juris, am serving you with this notice so that you and your agents may provide due care. Please take notice that we, the people, are the creators of all government in our nation both state and federal. Government is only created to promote the general welfare of the people, ensure our rights, and to provide equality under the law. All men are free and have the inherent rights to life, liberty, safety, and happiness. See evidence below. Virginia Constitution, Article 1, Section 2. People, the source of power. And I quote, That all power is vested in and consequently derived from the people. That magistrates are their trustees and servants. And at all times amenable to them. Close quote. Missouri Constitution, Article 1, Section 2, Promotion of General Welfare, Natural Rights of Persons, Equality Under the Law, Purpose of Government, and I quote, that all constitutional government is intended to promote the general welfare of the people, that all persons have a natural right to life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness and the enjoyment of the gains of their own industry. That all persons are created equal and are entitled to equal rights and opportunity under the law. That to give security to these things is the principal office of government and that when government does not confer this security, it fails it's in its chief design. Close quote. Indiana Constitution, Article 1, Section 1, Inherent Rights. And I quote, We declare that all people are created equal, that they are endowed 
by their creator with certain inalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that all power is inherent in the people, and that all free governments are and of right ought to be founded on their authority and instituted for their peace, safety, and well-being. For the advancements of these ends, the people have, at all times, an indefeasible right to alter and reform their government. Close quote. Please take notice that it is the lawful right of all people to freely assemble together to consult for the common good and to make known any redress of grievances to their elected representatives. He who uses his own right is not considered to be a wrongdoer or to be acting with guile. Are there individuals who assembled at the Capitol on January 6, 2021, who are being unjustly imprisoned and detained for crimes which are not a crime, but were their own lawful rights? See evidence below. New Jersey Constitution, Article 1, Rights and Privileges, Paragraph 18, and I quote, The people have the right freely to assemble together, to consult for the common good, to make known their opinions to their representatives, and to petition for redress of grievances. Close quote. Main Constitution, Article 1, Section 15, Right of Petition, and I quote, The people have a right at all times, in an orderly and peaceable manner, to assemble to consult upon the common good, to give instructions to their representatives, and to request of either department of the government, by petition or remonstrance, Redress of their wrongs and grievances. Close quote. Maxim 77 C. He who uses his legal rights harms no one. Maxim 86 K. No one is considered to act with guile or to be a wrongdoer who uses his own right. Maxim 86 A. It would be idle and trite to say that no right is absolute. Please take notice that we, the people, are aware that many agents of the government are acting in nefarious ways to harm the people and violate their inherent inalienable natural rights. As trustees and servants of the people, the oath you swore to the state and federal constitutions are indivisible and cannot be held as partly true. When you attack the people, including the individuals who assembled at the Capitol on January 6, 2021, are you upholding your oath and faithfully discharging your duties of office? See evidence below. Maxim 84 C. Punishment is due if the words of an oath be false. Maxim 84 D. An oath is indivisible. It is not to be held partly true and partly false. Maxim 4 F. Faith must be observed. An agent must not violate the confidence reposed in him. Please take notice that as trustees and servants of the people, you are strictly bound to your contract. The 50 state constitutions. Where did, you, where did we grant you 
the power to go outside your contract. Where in your contract can you harm the people and intentionally trespass on our rights? See evidence below. Maxim 24K. The contract makes the law. Please take notice that the law is not to be violated by those in government, including harming the rights of the people. Are there government actors, agents, lawyers, and members of the media conspiring together to defame, slander, persecute, and act in a manner that harms the natural rights of the people, including those who were at the Capitol on January 6, 2021? See evidence below. Ohio Constitution, Article 1, Section 2. Section 11. Forgive me. Section 11. Freedom of speech, of the press, of libels. And I quote, Every citizen may freely speak, write, and publish his sentiments on all subjects. Being responsible for the abuse of the right, and no law shall be passed to restrain or abridge the liberty of speech or of the press. In all criminal prosecutions for libel, the truth may be given in evidence to the jury, and if it shall be and if it shall appear to the jury that the matter charged is libelous, is true, and was published with good motives and for justifiable ends, the party shall be acquitted. Close quote. Maxim 51i. Individual liberties are antecedent to all government. Maxim 51k. The law is not to be violated by those in government. 51h. The government is to be subject to the law, for the law makes the government. Please take notice that all people are entitled to the equal protection of the laws, including protection from any government who is acting in a way that severely harms the people. Are the individuals who were at the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021, receiving equal protection under the law? That is their right? Or are they being persecuted and unlawfully discriminated against? See evidence below. Arkansas Constitution, Article 2, Section 3, Equality Before the Law. And I quote, The equality of all persons before the law is recognized and shall ever remain inviolate, nor shall any citizen ever be deprived of any right, privilege, or immunity, nor exempted from any burden or duty on account of race, color, or previous condition. Close quote. Georgia Constitution, Article 1, Section 1, Paragraph 2. Protection to person and property. Equal protection. And I quote, Protection to person and property is the paramount duty of government and shall be impartial and complete. No person shall be denied the equal protection of the laws. Close quote. Louisiana Constitution, Article 1, Section 3, Right to Individual Dignity. And I quote, No person shall be denied the equal protection of the laws. No law shall discriminate against a person because of race or religious ideas, beliefs, or affiliations. No law shall arbitrarily, capriciously, or unreasonably discriminate against a person because of birth, age, sex, culture, physical condition, or political ideas or affiliations. Slavery and involuntary servitude are prohibited, except in the later case as 
punishment for crime. Close quote. Please take notice that many people are being unlawfully held, detained, imprisoned, and deprived of their life and liberty without due process of law because they assembled at the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. When did the people grant you powers that allow you to trample on the liberty of the free people? Please provide the Constitution's provisions where you were granted authority to deprive the people of their inalienable rights. See evidence below. Arizona Constitution Article 2, Section 4, Due Process of Law. And I quote, No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Close quote. North Carolina Constitution, Article 1, Section 19, Law of the Land, Equal Protection of the Laws. And I quote, No person shall be taken, imprisoned, or deceased of his freehold, liberties, or privileges, or outlawed, or exiled, or in any manner deprived of his life, liberty, or property, but by the law of the land. No person shall be denied the equal protection of the laws, nor shall any person be subjected to discrimination by the state because of race, color, religion, or national origin. Close quote. Maxim 77F. No free man shall be deprived of life liberty or property, but by the lawful judgment of his peers, or by the law of the land, that is, by the common law. Please take notice that all people are protected from cruel and unusual punishment, which includes pre-trial detention, excessive bail, denial of bail, or the flat-out withholding of any arraignments and proceedings that we are lawfully entitled to under due process of law. Do you believe you are treating the people fairly while holding them in isolation and segregation for excessively long periods of time? Many of the people have been law unlawfully detained in prison since early 2021. Who granted you the authority to weaponize the Department of Justice against the people? See evidence below. California Constitution, Article 1, Section 17, and I quote, Cruel or unusual punishment may not be inflicted or excessive fines imposed. Close quote. Florida Constitution, Article 1, Section 14, Pre-trial Release and Detention. And I quote, Unless charged with a capital offense or an offense punishable by life, imprisonment and the proof of guilt is evident or the presumption is great every person charged with a crime or violation of municipal or county ordinance shall be entitled to pre-trial release on reasonable conditions if no conditions of release can reasonably protect the community from risk of physical harm to persons, assure the presence of the accused at trial, or assure the integrity of the judicial process, the accused may be detained. Close quote. 
Kansas Constitution Bill of Rights, Section 9, Bail. And I quote, All persons shall be bailable by sufficient sureties except for capital offenses where proof is evident or the presumption is great. The presumption great. Excessive bail shall not be required nor excessive fines imposed nor cruel or unusual punishment inflicted. Close quote. Tennessee Constitution, Article 1, Section 13, and I quote, that no person arrested and confined in jail shall be treated with unnecessary rigor, close quote. Please take notice that every individual is guaranteed certain remedy for any wrongs or injuries he may receive on his person. This includes any injuries committed by our trustees and servants who swore an oath to keep us safe, happy, and to protect us. Were you granted the authority to use your public office or governmental position to harm and injure the people by violating their inherent rights, including unlawfully detaining and imprisoning the people for using their God-given rights? See evidence below. Massachusetts Constitution Part the First, Article 11. And I quote, Every subject of the Commonwealth ought to find a certain remedy by having recourse to the laws for all injuries or wrongs which he may receive in his person, property, or character. He ought to obtain right and justice freely and without being obliged to purchase it completely and without any denial, promptly and without delay, conformably to the laws. And I close quote. Vermont Constitution, Chapter 1, Article 4, Remedy at Law Secured to All. And I quote, Every person within this state ought to find a certain remedy by having recourse to the laws for all injuries or wrongs which one may receive in person, property, or character. Every person ought to obtain right and justice freely and without being obliged to purchase it completely and without any denial, promptly and without delay, conformably to the laws. Close quote. Maxim 92N. No one is punished unless for some wrong act or default. Please take notice that all courts are to be open and every person shall have remedy by due course of law right and justice administered without sale denial or delay are any government agents improperly using their office which may include colluding with private bar attorneys and any other agents to withhold due process and trespass on the inherent rights of the people See evidence below. Kentucky Constitution, Bill of Rights, Section 14. And I quote, All courts shall be open, and every person for an injury done him in his lands, goods, person, or reputation shall have remedy by due course of law and right and justice administered without sale, denial, or delay. Close quote. Maxim 77O. 
it is the right of the accused to be tried by a legally constituted court, not by a kangaroo court. Please take further notice that any man or woman who decides to suppress this notice agrees to pay $100,000 per infraction and any disputes by any public officials and or private actors who are bound by contract to the state and federal constitutions agrees to have these matters heard before an arbitrator of my choice. No bar association members are authorized to handle or provide guidance to any public servants regarding any matters that we, the people, send notice of remonstrance to our elected representatives and any attempts by any bar association members to interfere or hinder with the people obtaining remedy for such grievances will be considered a direct trespass on the people's rights. Please take final notice that it is my wish, order, and demand that all trustees, servants, agents, and bar members are to immediately stop blocking and interfering with the people's inherent rights, including the rights to life, liberty, due process, and assembly. Furthermore, if you believe any of the above claims are untrue or that you have the authority to harm and infringe upon the rights of the free people, please provide the constitutional provisions that grant you such privileges. All responses must be submitted by affidavit, sworn under penalty of perjury within five days of receiving this notice or you agree by acquiescence all statements in this notice to be true and fact. Further, you agree that you are acting with full knowledge, intent, and malice by trespassing on the people's inherent rights and that no court shall be able to rehear this matter, but it shall stand as truth and evidence in all courts of record. Please send your affidavit via certified mail to the center of this notice or post publicly on your agency's website, including any social media or other public platforms. This notice is sent to you in peace and with the love of Christ so that you may provide due care to those who have all political power, the people. The people, please put your name here, first, middle, last, autograph it here. The date is automatic. Enter your email so that you can receive a copy for your records. And if you need to send this via certified mail with green return card receipt, then you can go ahead and click here, get that, get the addresses right here. And then please, when you're done, click the green button submit so that it can be sent to all the proper government servants. All right, these are the government servants which will be receiving this notice. Here they are. You can pause the video and read out the names. Thank you. God bless you. God protect you.